guys welcome back to my channel I'm sharing a video today that I did not originally plan on filming but I've gotten so many questions about this a little side note my driveway is getting dug out around my house today so if you hear that that's what's going on but when you buy a fixer-upper there's just noises at all times so today I'm talking about baby loungers but specifically the Dakotot and the Snuggle Me Organic. I'm gonna tell you my thoughts on them. Once you moms, new moms, soon to be moms all figured out that I have both the Dakotot and the Snuggle Me, so many messages and asking what the difference was and how I felt about them and if they're worth it and everything else. So I just decided I was gonna do a video on it for you guys. With Lucy, I used the Dakotot Deluxe and then right now with Stella, I'm using the Snuggle Me Organic. So. Let's talk about them a little bit. I wrote down some notes. Dakotots are pretty pricey. They are $175 and then it's $75 for a cover. I'm gonna be honest, that's a little pricey for a baby product. And the Snuggle Me is a little cheaper. It's $140. Well, okay, it's actually different price points for them, but I have the Snuggle Me Organic, and this one's $140, and then the covers are $48. If you got the Snuggle Me, you'd be saving $62. Did not do that in my head. Anyway, I actually love them both very much. It just kind of depends what you're looking for. So I'm going to tell you my thoughts. So these two products are essentially the same thing. They are just a baby lounger to make them feel like they're kind of being cuddled. But there are some pretty notable differences so with the Dakotot there's a little bit of a stain up here if you can see that Lucy spit up all the time and I have spray and washed this a thousand times but you can only spit up so much on something but I promise it's clean if the covers weren't $75 I'd get a new one so the number one difference that I will say is that the Dakotot has um, a padded bottom like a padded base and so it's a little squishier at a bottom you can like put it on the floor and the baby can lay in it and be totally comfy but the snuggle me has just this like layer of fabric i guess here let me show you um so this does not have a pad in the bottom it's just like fabric i guess and it kind of spreads out when you put the baby in it um, and it makes them feel really cozy on the sides, but the bottom is not squishy So I don't think it would work as great if you really plan on using it a ton like around the house to like Have them hang out in while you get stuff done I wouldn't say it's the most comfy for just like hanging out if you're putting them on a hard surface But on a soft surface, it's really comfy. Akatot is a lot more firm and sturdy than the Snuggle Me This one has a wider base right here So the baby isn't like when they're tiny tiny babies. They're definitely not being like snuggled They're just not feeling the sides very much get some footage of Stella in both of these So you can kind of see the size of her because she's 10 pounds right now So I'll show you what she looks like in both of these it's an amazing product And I love it so much and I could not have lived without it with Lucy changing it up with the Snuggle Me But it doesn't mean I don't like the Dakotot. I just want to make that clear more about the Dakotot and then I'll show you the differences so the, the fabric is not I'm sorry do you hear that dump truck right now okay Stella just woke up and they're gonna start digging right outside this window so I'm gonna get it together so the snuggle me organic is definitely a thousand times more plush way 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 softer than the Dakotot super squishy and it definitely snuggles them up a lot more snuggles them a lot closer than the Dakotot, which I think is really, really good for a newborn, but I feel like a bigger baby would probably outgrow it faster. As far as I know, both of these um, both of these loungers say that you can use them up to nine months, and I know for a fact that I used this one up to nine months with Lucy because it's really nice and it has this clip right here, so you open it and then their legs can just come out like and it's totally fine really nice thing to have unclip it and then their legs can grow out if they're like really long baby I don't have really long babies and Lucy's feet never dangled off because she was in the 2% for height so this one however does not have that so I feel like pretty soon um, Stella's legs are gonna kind of start being like propped up a little bit on it which I don't think is a bad thing I just don't know that it's gonna be as comfortable for her I can't imagine a nine-month-old in this I'm not saying it's not possible I'm sure people put their nine-month-olds in it but it's just so small to me so I'm just gonna tell you guys a couple things that I feel for both of them and you can make a decision for yourself what one you need. I used the Dakotot Deluxe with Lucy from the time she was four weeks old until she was nine months old. I feel like it improved her sleep so much once I added the Dakotot because we were really struggling with sleep when she was a brand new baby and that helped a ton. Using the Snuggle Me Lounger with Stella since day one, literally since she got home from the hospital and she is an amazing sleeper. Like. 
amazing sleeper. Everyone has their own opinions on loungers, but honestly, my babies sleep great in them and they're sleeping right next to me in them, so do your research on the guidelines for safe sleep, but we seriously could not live without loungers. We love them in this house. Snuggle Me is significantly cheaper than the Docatot. The Snuggle Me is a lot squishier than the Docatot. Um, like comfier, not squishier, but it's a lot comfier and cozier and softer than the Docatot, but the Docatot definitely would last you longer in my opinion. And the Docatot is a lot better for like lounging around the house because it does have the pad on the bottom and I think you can really grow into the Docatot. If you are looking to spend less money, the Snuggle Me is amazing. I have no bad things to say about it. Um, I will tell you now my number one thing that I love about the Snuggle Me and that I hate about the Docatot. The Snuggle Me has the easiest cover to remove of life. It's literally this pouch in the back and you just slip it out. You throw it in the washing machine and you put it back on. It's the easiest thing in the whole entire world and I love it so much. I love that convenience. Now that goes hand in hand with the one thing I flipping hate about Docatots. It is a jigsaw puzzle to get this cover back on this. I hate it. I hate how hard it is to get it back on because um, babies spit up, well my babies spit up, I don't know if yours do, but Baby spit up, I had to wash this thing a bunch and I was, I had to take it all apart. It comes apart easy enough, but putting it back together sucks. Today, after I washed this, 15 minutes to put it back together. Not exaggerating, 15 minutes to jigsaw this bad boy back together. And the reason is, it's two different parts. So the pad zips in easy enough, but this part up here is a tube. So it's just like this cloth, fluffy tube that comes out and you have to try to shove it back in here and it's just do not dry your docatot covers people do not dry them i accidentally dried mine for like 10 minutes nope it was so hard to get back in here i love the docatot hate how hard it is to put back together snuggle me takes two seconds to put the cover on and it's amazing this baby just woke up again and spit up all over herself so we will be changing her in just a second honestly if i had to pick one of these for the rest of my life i would pick the snuggle me just because it's less expensive and it's so cozy and soft and easy to clean and everything else so i guess my ultimate favorite is the snuggle me right now but i i love the docatot maybe honestly they've changed how you um replace the cover i don't think they have but mine is over two years old so you never know but if you're looking for a lounger for your baby to lay in around the house during the day you may want to definitely go with the docatot just because it is comfier i don't have bad things to say except for the fact that the docatot so hard to put back together but other than that no issues whatsoever you guys can all do your own research but we love we love loungers Link them both down below. I'd like to think that they'll both be having Black Friday or Cyber Monday sales, so <gasps> hi. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye!